What up? My name is Edward, and this is another edition of the Jack Files. Thank you all for paying attention. Uh, this next one is about something that happened yesterday. Uh, Wednesday, actually. Wednesday night. Um, a representative of South Carolina, Joe Wilson, uh, stood up during the president's uh, speech and said, You lie. First of all, who are you, motherfucker, to stand up and tell the president to his face he's a liar Joe Wilson you're a disgrace you piece of shit alright first of all let me give you a little bit of history on the idea of the presidency of the United States of America George Washington in the beginning was actually offered the role of King of America but a lot of y'all didn't know that did you that's right when we were unsure of what kind of government we were actually wanted, we actually offered George Washington, our first president, the title of king. He refused. Of course, fighting a battle for freedom and democracy, you cannot automatically turn around and say, hey, I want to be king. But the people were unsure about what they wanted. Yes, we fought for freedom, but did that mean freedom for democracy or freedom to be our own empire? Well, George Washington didn't see it as empire. He saw it as a free country. Therefore, democracy reigns supreme. Now, the reason we treat the office of the presidency uh, so respectful is because, in many ways, the president is our king. I mean, he's not really a king. He's not in bloodline. It, it, it's an honor because this is a person that leads our country. This is a person that even though we don't like him I love Obama I think he's great uh, I don't like George Bush the sequel I wish somebody would have assassinated that motherfucker but that's just me Obama's cool in my book the Bushes should be set on fire <laughs> just my opinion of course and even though you may not respect the president you respect his office and treat him with respect because of it now during a health care um, speech uh, President Obama was giving the representatives of South Carolina stood up and said, You know, I don't do you stand up. I know I read the article, I read the speech too. It's pretty good. Uh, called him a liar. Like I said, who the fuck are you to tell a president he's lying? First of all, as I was saying, I don't give a shit who you are, okay. I don't give a shit if your family's got money on top of money on top of money. You shut the fuck up and listen when the president of the United States is talking to you. Alright? Your job when you were voted, Mr. Wilson. I'm sorry, Joe. You don't need to fucking call you by your last name, you piece of shit. Is to represent your state, South Carolina. President Obama represents America, which you serve, bitch. All right, you don't open your mouth and start talking shit, because in reality, that's just political suicide. You have just ruined yourself for your party. How? Because you are seen as somebody that is rash, who obviously has no restraint, and obviously doesn't care about his career. Because no matter what happens now in South Carolina, you'll be known as the idiot that actually stood up and said, "You lie, motherfucker." That's not good for a career. I'm glad your career is over, Mr. Wilson. Um, President Obama should have had the Secret Service hold you down while he bitch slapped your ass for talking shit. You don't talk shit when the president is giving a speech. I wouldn't talk shit while the president was giving a speech. I don't give a fuck if Bill, uh, fucking Bill Clinton, George Bush, the sequel, was standing up and giving a speech. And I hate that motherfucker. But if that son of a bitch was giving a speech because he is a president, I will stand up, I will be silent, and I will listen. Show some respect, motherfucker. I may not have every good manner that there is, but I do have manners, and I do pay attention, and I do treat people with respect. And I damn well sure will treat the leader of my country with respect, something you should have done Mr. Wilson you're a disgrace for your state and your country for interrupting 
the leader of the free world. That's just my opinion. But then again, here at the Jack Files, all about an opinion. Ladies and gentlemen, Joe Wilson is a disgrace. Should be voted out of office. Should be bitch slapped by Secret Service till Obama gets there. Gets a baby powder on that motherfucker. <clears throat> and then, when President Obama's hand gets fucking tired, he should have Secret Service bitch slap that motherfucker till President Obama's hand feels alright to go back to bitch slapping again. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Mm. That's just me. That's my opinion. And that's what it's all about. People like President Obama make sure that I have my freedom of speech. And sadly, Mr. Wilson, you also have your freedom of speech. But not while President Obama is talking, bitch. But then, again, like I said, it's all about freedom of speech. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't use it, somebody just might take it away. Now, if you interrupt the president while he's talking, somebody should say, shut the fuck up and take your bitch ass away. But that's just me. Peace.